Put this draping duck under. So I got Ryan here. Ryan gauge me and collar tie up, okay? I'm gonna go from the outside over the top. I'm not fighting inside. I'm gonna let him have the collar tie. I go over the top and I just sort of drape, hanging on this here. I even apply just a little bit of downward pressure just to let him know that I'm there, okay? He's gonna be either looking for wrist control or looking for shoulder control, right? He's gonna look for touch. Alright, so if he's having wrist control, we're gonna just keep your little hands back. Alright? The second he touches, I'm gonna go outside again and I'm gonna chop with the wrist and get rid of that. See how he fell into me just a little bit? That's what I want. So when I chop this, I level change, and now I'm gonna open the door here, open the window as we say, and I'm gonna look underneath and pitch this behind me. Here. Now look behind me. So I'm here, turn the corner, and look to get a rear pitch. A lot of times a good wrestler will react by sprawling or trying to square up and then I'm going to run around here and get my little go behind takedown. So here, engage, all right, so it's good from this angle, he collar ties, I drape, I'm hanging, I come here, I chop. As I chop, I level change. So as he touches, I chop and level change together. Here, big step to the outside, open, right, and he might try to sprawl this one. And drive him down. All right, so one last one. Here, he power ties, engage, he reaches, snap, level, and get in there, right there. Real quick, go behind for my, for my two, okay, get my take down. Let's give it a shot, three, two, one.